sorry about the voiceover we actually lost some of our footage so i'm gonna walk you through um this private onsen tour so here we have um basically where you come in and you get dressed they have an area where you can store all of your belongings and you get a key so your stuff is safe you can lock it behind you and here is the wash area um, traditionally, you're supposed to completely bathe yourself, um, get all the lotions and anything and fragrances and anything that you have on, just wash that completely off. You sit down on those stools right there at the bottom and you use the buckets to fill with water to splash over yourself. Um, so you just basically wash everything off. And the special thing about this particular private onsen is that it had two hot springs. So one inside and one outside. This one was the one that was inside and it was extremely hot. We had to add some cold water into it actually. And there's Robert setting up for our shots. Hey Robert. So moving outside, this is the one I was most excited about. Um, this is the outside hot spring and there's the controls like if it's too hot or you want to turn the water off. Um, that's where you can do that at. And that's a little bit of the scenery that we saw. It was actually still raining because of the typhoon. So it was pretty cold out there and we had to like like rinse off and um, like walk outside into that water completely, you know, in the buff. <laughs> so that was an experience. But the water was so awesome. It was really, really hot and it was just an awesome experience. I would love to do it again. For this private onsen experience, because none of the ones were available with it in the room, we had to pay $22 each time we wanted to use the private onsen and it was only for 45 minutes so yeah <laughs> and once we finish showering and cleansing off you take your modesty towel and traditionally we would be women would wear it like this yeah women would wear it like that <laughs> and then men would obviously yeah so the thing about it is, it's not supposed to touch the onsen water. So once you're, you, you wear it to cover yourself, right when you get into the onsen, and then you put it on top of your head. So that is not supposed to touch the water. That's a big thing, no, no. So Why does it Because anything other than your body that gets into it, once you've already cleansed it, anything else is nasty. So even women, you have to tie your hair up. So, What's so I'll tell you what's special about it once we've enjoyed it because we're on a time limit. <laughs> of an onsen right is to they have it's like flaming hot right and hold on let me get a napkin so the onsen i told y'all is like uh volcanic water right and it comes straight from the source so that means it's gonna be hot 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 and i don't think me or robert was expecting it to be that hot so once you get in you're gonna sweat so like you see all this sweat you're gonna sweat and you know usually women they're used to hot water we like hot water way more than than men do but this was a whole different level of hot and when I say it took me a minute to get in I was like whoa whoa and Robert poor thing I'm still cooking. You say what? I'm still cooking. <laughs> I'm like seafood right now. Overcooked seafood? Yeah. I'm still cooking. <laughs> 
so poor Robert. I felt so bad. But he's a trooper. Like, it took him, like, a five minutes to get in. But it was really a really cool experience. I loved it. I want to go back tomorrow. Um, so, oh, I didn't tell you guys. So, the reason we got a private onsen was because in Japan, you aren't allowed to have um, tattoos in onsen. So, like, certain things like um, like beaches when you're doing water sports, uh, onsens, and things like that. Um, you're not allowed to have tattoos shown. So, because I have tattoos, we had to do a private onsen. And I preferred it only because with us being American, we're not really used to being... Naked. <laughs> What's that? Naked. <laughs> In front of people. Yeah, we're not. We don't know. We're not used to being naked in front of strangers, and if you add on the fact that we're like the anomaly in Japan. Yeah, we're kind of like big and in black, so it's like two two things uh, working for us. So um, we didn't really feel comfortable going in a communal. Now, if we wanted to do that, we definitely couldn't film. And Robert would be the only one that can go because he doesn't have tattoos and they separate the genders. So it's aside for women and aside for men. So we're going to wash off because we were just like rushing to get out of there. It was so hot. So we're going to actually take a shower, wind down. And the next time you'll see us, we'll be going to dinner. So excited. Bye. Man, listen, when they tell you to hydrate before you on a hot spring, do it. Because, listen, I'm not going to even lie. I had to get out for it, but I feel like I was going to pass out. And I drink water all the time. But we got some good pictures, though. Hey. forgive us guys we wanted to give a very in-depth description of the food that we were experiencing but the staff spoke very little English so we really couldn't get a description about what we were eating or how to properly eat it but we had a wonderful time trying to figure it out it was all so delicious Okay, y'all, I can't believe this, but Robert just asked me if I wanted to film him eating the eye. So let's go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, no. <laughs> It was like crack your teeth hard. Yeah, it was like jailbreak hard. Oh dang. We tried, y'all. <laughs> we tried. Oh no. See, listen. The typhoon making noises. It sounds like ghost up in here. Hold on. So I'm 
so we just got back from dinner and Robert said he gonna let me walk in. I don't know what happened. I know they supposed to put on the food time. Oh, looky, looky. How to turn on the light? Okay, I'll figure out how to turn on the light. Yeah. They did that so quick. Well, we was downstairs for what, like an hour and a half? You said so quick. They're doing <laughs> full color out of the the table, right? This is so cool. Slow bird party. After a good night's sleep, we went down to breakfast thinking it was going to be something light, but oh no, we came down to this full on spread. <laughs> it was such a feast, it was so much food that we couldn't eat it all, we felt horrible, but it was all so delicious. Again, we had to figure out how to properly eat everything, so we hope we did it right. Um, what a great way to start the day, we couldn't ask for anything better. Playing music as we were driving over it. What, bruh? 